Do you know that you can automate your Facebook campaign name? And why is this important? Imagine creating many different campaigns in one account and each time you have to name them differently. Or if different people using that same ad account and they create a different campaign and each one have different names, it would be very confusing especially when you want to go and check the data or the information about the campaign. Now that is why it is important to standardize the name across all your Facebook campaigns. Apart from that, if you're able to automate the naming part, it also makes your work much easier. And that's the reason why Facebook or Meta have this feature called Name Template. And in this video, I'll be showing you how you can set up this Name Template inside your Facebook ad account. First, I'll be showing you the official information from Meta. You can check it out in the link in the description box below as well. But I'll still go through it with you. Next, I'll show you how you can set this name template inside your Facebook ad account. And finally, we will create a sample campaign and see how all this works. Now, before I continue, if you are new to this channel, remember to subscribe to this channel right now. And without further ado, let's jump into my computer and let me show you how you can do it. Let's go. All right, now let's first of all look into the official documents from Facebook or Meta. So you can see here, about name templates in Meta Ads Manager. So you can create a template that automatically apply to all your new campaigns. Of course, you can tick. You can use manual, I can show you later. But this is another option where you can automatically fill out the name based on the targeting that you put or based on the campaign type that you put. I can show you more details about it. So you can see that there's a lot of custom fields that you can do. I'll show you to you more details later on. And you can see to create a name template, there's a lot of information here as well, but the, the information sometimes will be hard to see. And if you just read, right? Uh, but they only support actually one template per level. I don't know only why one only, because I think it could be difficult. But they only have one template, so you can only do one template for all. Okay, and you can see that uh, when you open name templates, I'll show you where do you find it. And then you can see that uh, you can create the uh, campaign name, asset name, ad name, and then you can edit accordingly. And then you can see that uh, okay, there's a few fields that you can have it, which is three fields. One is a campaign field. Okay, so this is a list of name you can put in. Next is open text field. You can edit or put in your own text. And custom field. So again, I'll show all, all this to you. So i just show you where you can find this. All the links in the description box below, just click on it and have a look if you want to read. Okay, now let's go into the, the ads part. Then let me just go to my ads manager, just wait a while. So now let's open our Facebook account. This is Facebook account. How do you go to ads manager? Just let you know everything that we do with ads is better if you do it in your computer. Because if you do it mobile, it's quite challenging to see everything in one place. Okay, now let's go to ads manager. Okay, now I'm in the Facebook app manager. So when you go to find the name template, you go to the ad account settings on it. Next, you can see here, there's a few things here. Ad account settings, pages, payment settings, notification settings, and here it is, name template. Just click on it. There you can see there's three, campaign name, asset name, and ad name. We're going to do a few of them. There you can see. Okay, so just click on campaign name, create name. Now you can see there's a template. You can choose existing template. There's a few templates that you can use, okay, which they have pre written. But for me, I prefer this type of template which is my name or the agency name that I'm working with. Uh, for example, let's just take this case as we are doing dentistry advertisement. So that's why we add put dental treatment type and then followed by campaign objective. So let's just add a component here. Okay. For the first name, I want to make it open text field because I can edit, for example, which agency or what name I want to put. So I just put here. For example, I just edit, change the name to KA or any name that you want to put. Okay. Save. And then next, I'm going to add another operator. And this will be custom view. So this one I'll put for example dental treatment. I just have fattening. Okay. Just an example. Okay, then you just click done. Click save. Hey, add another one, which I will have it as the objective. So you can see this is an example. For example, my name or any other name, then teeth whitening, and then follow up the campaign objective, which is reach. Then click save and it appears like this. Okay, straightforward. Now let's go to asset name. Asset name, I like to put, for example, what's the targeting about and also followed by the gender, name, and the location. Okay, let's put all them in. Asset name is create. So you can see add a component. For example, targeting, usually I will type it out. So open view, just go here targeting. Next, here targeting. Then you can add. For example, now I like to put location, tower and CD. Just an example. Okay, next, I like to put gender, age. Yep, just an example. Okay, so you can see that what kind of targeting I want to put. For example, people that like teeth or things like that, I'll put it here. This is what I write myself. Then followed by city. Then on the gender and also the age. Okay, just an example. First, click save. Let's add name. Let's just see how we can add a name. So add name depends on you. I like to specify whether I'm using picture or video. So if you this or carousel, right? So you can just put the information here. 
I'll just put custom field. Add type. Turn. Picture. Video. Add. For example, okay. Click. That's where you can add. Just add. Add field. It can be a format. It's already written here by the bands. I think that I to just choose myself. Display sequence, headline. Yeah, it's all here. But I'll prefer some field. Put in the open text field. Here it depends on how you like it. I like to put picture one, picture two, for example. So it depends on you. And you can see here uh, numbering. So I can adjust accordingly. And just click save and I can show you then how you can do it. Alright, so now you have all the name templates saved. Uh, you can edit, just click edit here, edit accordingly, or you can even delete. Alright, just delete them, then it'll be gone. Uh, and you can only have one so that's the thing that for example if you don't like then yeah what to do but again there's option for you to use it or not to use it okay now let's go to the ads and let me show you the last thing which is how to use it in the campaign let's go all right now we are done with the setup here let's go to our ad account so let's go to ad account here go to campaigns go back to ad account okay now let's just create a campaign let's click on create so just choose whichever that you want for now for example i like to do lead generation ads so just click on lead campaign name is optional Later, we'll continue doing it. Let's just click on continue. Then just turn it off. Case. Okay, as you can see here, there's a name here, which is a template here. Just click on it, and then you can see open up template state. So, for example, now take me, right? I don't know what name to put. I just put my name, right? KA, which is at the front. So, you can see the how it looks like here. So, for treatment, for example, I want to focus on inverse line. So, I just put inverse line. I can change, see, can it change to inverse line. And here, I'll put leads. Okay, so let's continue. Easily, you can see straight away. This is done by me. It is about inverse line ads, and it's a lead generation ads. Okay, now let's click next. Now you can have messenger, it's just to website for example. Again, you can turn on or turn off. Alright, now I just want to turn it on. Let's turn it on. And you can see here. Now for targeting, I want to, for example, like people that like teeth strength teeth generally. Okay, because I like to do a group uh, targeting. I group all the same targeting one. You can see all here. Alright, just so scroll all the way down. So, yes, so this is the location. Now, for example, there's such a, a place, which is a, a city in Malaysia. And you can see it changed to Cyberjaya, right? Now, usually for this line, usually target women. So let's just put women. And here we can put, for example, 25 and above. That's the age where they can afford it, or 50, just an example, yeah? And then after that, the placement, you can edit accordingly or put in automatic. And you can see it's changed everything accordingly, okay? Click next. And then you can see here as well, template, no template. So if you click template, you can choose. For example, I choose picture. And then I can put this is stuff. You can see you can change it. Picture one, picture two, picture three, or video one, video two, video three. Anything that can help you know which content or which creative it is. So this is how easily you can set up name, tem name templates for Facebook ads. So I've shown you the official document. You can go to the description box and have a look. I've shown you how you can create a name template and I will also show you how you can use it in your ads. Okay, if you like what I share, do give me a like and also subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Thank you and I see you next time. Bye.